Okay, before we get to this delicious spread this morning, uh, a health alert for expectant moms. A new clinical trial says if you follow the Mediterranean diet while pregnant, it could give your baby a brain boost. So doctors followed children born to high-risk mothers as part of a prenatal care study. It was conducted in Barcelona, Spain, between the years of 2017 and 2020, and those results found that children whose moms followed a Mediterranean diet while pregnant had more improved cognitive, social, and emotional development at age two as compared to those kids whose mothers didn't follow the diet. And to give you an idea of what the Mediterranean diet looks like, just take a look at the foods here, courtesy of our friends over at Senya Mediterranean here in Chicago. You've got hummus, you have falafel, kebabs, a Greek salad here. It's plant-based, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, heart-healthy fats like omega fatty acids, and doesn't include processed foods, added sugars, refined grains. We've asked our News Nation medical contributor, Dr. Dave Montgomery, a board-certified cardiologist and managing partner at Prevent Natal Atlanta to share more of his insights. Dr. Dave, thanks for being here. Uh, I wish you were here to taste test this with me so I wasn't alone. <laughs> what is your favorite? Yeah, no, listen, I'm getting hungry just sitting here. <laughs> What's your favorite Mediterranean dish? What do you go for? I am a big olive fan. Any olive on the planet, just put them right in front of me and you may have to, uh, you may have to watch out. I'm an olive fan big time. Yeah, I had my salmon and lemon last night for dinner. I have it twice a week. I'm a big Mediterranean uh, girl, but we've heard this for years. Um, Dr. Dave, it, but it's interesting to now know that those Mediterranean benefits can be passed from mom to baby. So what's the connection between this diet and cognitive development in children? Yeah, no, really interesting. I think it's the first time we've seen anything quite like this. It's not just the overall pattern of the diet. It's really the nutrients and you hit it on the head. Nuts and seeds, big in the Mediterranean diet, legumes, things like olives, and they actually supplemented these women's diets with olive oil. We talked about this before on the show, but also the omega-3 fatty acids. Anytime we're talking about neurologic development and supplementing our brains, we hear omega fatty acids. Here's what happens. You take a, a developing baby that came from two cells and is developing an entire nervous system, uh -huh. a nervous system that is chock full of fat and cholesterol. The higher the quality of fat and cholesterol you take into your diet, the better the building blocks, the better the end result. And I think that's what we're seeing. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, though, because we know pregnancy cravings can run wild for women, right? And oftentimes taste and smell change during pregnancy. What's your advice to expecting moms who know they need to incorporate and adhere to the Mediterranean diet for themselves and baby, but they're like, Dr. Dave, I don't want fish and legumes right now. I, I want a pint of ice cream. What, what do you tell those moms? Yeah, no, and you know, my wife who craved things that she would never eat, right? I mean, there's a yeah. little bit of uh, data and theories around why the cravings are, right? So it may not just be trivial. It may be that the baby is craving a nutrient that it's not getting. But if one were to put this in the overall framework, in other words, still adhere, if you would, to the cravings, but put it in the framework of a Mediterranean diet, what it's showing is these kids' cognitive development, you know, motor skills, uh, you know, concentration and attention, their social development changes, that has big implications. And although this trial didn't talk about these things, we're thinking ADHD, we're thinking autism, we're yeah. thinking social anxiety and all of the implications there. So I think it's a really good thing for women to say, is this something for me and my baby? Let me talk to my OB and my pediatrician. And is this a new trend that we'll start seeing among expectant moms or historically, has this always been a recommendation from medical providers, OBs, uh, or is this brand new? In this day and age well you know so i i wish i could say that uh that we we do this across the board i think the comprehensive ob's are talking about how women uh should eat because it's got implications for you know pregnancy related issues like diabetes and hypertension but maybe not always i just want women to be thinking about you are what you eat literally and if you are what you eat you know the baby is what the mom eats and so you're just going to be bringing in things that are super high quality uh and maybe your your, your terrible twos marky aren't so terrible <laughs> uh, if you do that so. yeah i i know a lot of mothers would warmly welcome that uh news nation medical contributor dr dave montgomery always good to see you more food for me, I guess, this morning. I'm going to dig into this hummus without you. We'll see you next time. I'm on my way, Marky. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.